Hi guys. Because so many people requested that I draw, you know, a wolf or something, because I showed you all gloriously how to draw a kitty, I'm gonna do a more serious one on how to just draw, um, you know, a profile wolf face. I'm not gonna do the whole body because I'm not really good with cameras and or talking to people that don't exist, like, aren't here. It weirds me out to talk to just a camera. But, uh, <laughs> hello, I'm Kelly, Fuzzy Wolfie, you know, um, that weird goth chick, stuff like that. Um, it's gonna be kind of weird for me to angle my computer this way. I was doing it on the camera a few minutes ago, but camera battery died. And the charger is at my apartment, I think, maybe? All right, let's try to do this awkwardly. Ah. It's weird, because I want to put it in the closet. All right, is this working? Yes, kind of. Okay, let me get a pillow or something. There we go. You can see it, right? I'm going to put the camera on my lap. I'm going to do it this way. That's working. You can see that? Yeah, you can see that. Alright, so because I'm using a sharpie, just to make sure you can see it, because I normally never like to draw in pen, just because it's, you know, it's permanent and it's awkward. What you want to do, start off drawing a circle, and you want to keep it loose. You want to keep your hand moving, nice and flowiness. And then you want to come down, like right here will be the bridge of his face, like... Line. That's where the eyes should be. That's where the ears are. And this is profile, so he's going to be looking to the side. And you want to bring down from where his eye is, right about here. You want to bring down, put a snout in. And a snout is basically a. What the hell is it called? A. Um, a not square, a rectangle. It's basically a rectangle and or cylinder, and I made it too long, but I'll deal with it. You want to bring it down. And you want to start bringing down his face slash neck from there. Alright, try and fix this a little. And at the very end of this, you want to give him his nose. His nose is basically, I just put in that shape and then closed it off because I'm so good at it. <laughs> And, you know, I like to not start off by just coloring his... Oh, can you even see that with my hair? Coloring his nose and I'm just making it all black because that just looks like... That. It's kind of dull. You want to give him his mouth. You want to start off almost halfway down with his mouth. Halfway down the side of his face. And then you want to bring it back. And you don't want to bring it back, like, up to here. You want to bring it to about... Here, like even that's too far because it's weird and elongated, and I know that it is. So sorry about that. We're gonna bring down some structure, which is gonna be um, the ruffles and stuff on top of his nose. We're gonna give him some freckles, which are actually the parts of where the whiskers stick out. But I'm not gonna draw the whiskers. Because for some reason, every time you draw whiskers, people are just like, oh, a kitty. It's not a kitty. Bring down some more hair in here. And the way I draw fur, let's go like this. You bring it down, you bring it back up, you bring it down, you bring it back up. And it's not the best technique in the world. But, you know, it works. You want to be light and choppy like that as well. You want to bring that around. And then we're going to draw the eye. And I'll show you how to not draw an eye, which is an anime eye. Start with a line up here. You draw a circle. Put a line down there. And you draw a giant catch light. And then you draw this tiny little pupil. And I bet you've seen this 100 times before. Let's give it some eyelashes. Give it a little wrinkly bob. And then give it an eyebrow. See? Right now somebody's jizzing because they think that's beautiful. I don't. <laughs> Let's draw a real eye. Gonna bring that down. 
me over. I'm gonna close it over. It's not the best in the world. I don't really like it. I mean, I'm not used to drawing a pen. I'm used to being able to erase. Then we're gonna draw the ball of his eye. And now what you don't want to do is make it, you know, profile like that because he's looking this way, or else he's looking at you for some reason, which I guess would hurt your eyes. And then you're gonna give him a catch light and then a pupil in there. It's very, I'm not sure if you can see because I'm not looking at the computer like you are, but it's very small detail, but, you know, it sends the message across and you can see it. And I'm going to play with his eye a little. going to give him some underneath bone definition. I'm going to kind of color in the nose a little. And then we're going to draw the ears, which are triangles. Bring that up. And because he's looking forward, he's paying attention to whatever is in front of him. His ears are going to be pointing forward because he's listening to what's ahead of him, and that's how dogs respond to that stimuli. And we're going to finish out the back of his head. And I like to add the definition of the fur on the side of the face so you can, you know, tell where his head stops and the fur continues. Bring that down there. A little bit of it definition in there. Start adding more fur in. You know, give give his fur some, you know, depth. I can't say that word so well. <laughs> depth. And then just start adding it. Here and there and here and there. Give him wrinkles. Oh, I work at six and it's three right now. I don't want to go. Um... There you go. And what you can do from there is continue down. You can uh, come in here. That would be his shoulder. His front leg. Be down in here. Ball joint. It's best, like, I used to not map out what I was doing. It made everything harder. Whenever you see people give you tutorials on stuff and they draw people out like this. You might think it looks retarded, but you know, it really shows definition of what's going on. Like this is the rib cage, the torso, that's the head, the arms, you can give him, let's give him a sword because he's a fighter. Because that looks like a sword, Kelly. <laughs> like I'm happy. And then this hand, he can be reading a book because it's peaceful, not violent. Give him a penis. Kidding. But, um, you continue up with the fern here. Now we'll go down that way. Of course, it looks like she ought because I'm working in pen. I can't erase anything because I think that looks too big. Oh well. Continue it in the back. And then you up like this. That will be his Tommy. You can't even see back there, can you? Nope. So, you can just continue it like that. And then there you have it. It's a pretty pave. Who smells? Smells. And put flies around them. <sighs> yeah. So hopefully that's not as stupid as I think it is. And if it is, then you just wasted eight minutes of your life. I'm sorry. Alright. Bye guys.